Hello and welcome back to my channel. So I'm gonna freestyle this video, no editing or whatever. And pretty much what started this idea was this interesting uh, accident. If you can see that, there she is, this tiny scratch. So I've had this uh, band for probably almost two years now and I managed to keep it intact pretty much I've been wearing this almost every day I uh, wore it when I went when I went to uh, when I went on trips and uh, when I went out biking or doing different activities never had a problem managed to keep it scratch free and I did have an unfortunate situation at home pretty much as I was unloading the washer I was taking out the laundry and I bumped it on one of the edges of the uh, washer and I kind of got a little scratch on it so I'm not liking that and I know it's okay you can scratch it and it's still working fine there's no problem but yeah it can be better so what I did was I got a new one and this is gonna be the Xiaomi Smart Band 7 so this is the next generation the current one I have is the 6 and I also wanted this one because it has way more sports modes so it's got probably a hundred or something like that from what I've seen online it's kind of tricky to find exactly what it does and uh, you won't find it on their website but I did find it on reddit so someone actually typed in all the um, modes basically and other than that I got a um, I think like a screen protector or something like that so this is for my other band for my smartwatch I guess this is the Huawei Watch Fit 2 Active, so it's got the um, silicone strap, basically. So I got this, this is going to be for the Xiaomi, and then I thought I'd spice it up a little bit with this uh, band so I can change them out and try different colors. So. I'll do that and yeah this is what I was working with before works fine but I'm not liking this it's tiny but it's annoying and this one the other one the Huawei this is also in perfect condition let's see if we can get the screen it turns on and there we go not a scratch so pretty happy with that so far and it's not like it took extra care of it or anything just like normal wear but yeah so i also got this one this is gonna be kind of a change in the vibe so if i wanted something different and we're gonna look at that so first Let's have a look at the new Xiaomi Smart Band 7. Okay, so it's got these. I should probably just cut these. Somehow. Oh, it's just paper, okay. So this one is supposed to be pretty much the same, but maybe the screen is a little bit bigger, they said. Yeah, you can definitely notice that. 
a slight change so it's a little bit wider and not as long which I think really helps with the ergonomics sometimes this whole thing feels flat against your wrist so you can definitely tell that you have something on and otherwise this part is going to be identical I assume and it's got different sensors I'm not going to get into the details but someone was saying like why is it different because it's got the same amount of sensors on the old one so whatever um, I forgot how I turned this on actually does it have some kind of on off button hmm, interesting uh, we'll get to that in a second so the rest of the is the charging cable with the magnetic connector same as the old one and nothing here except some paperwork I guess actually a lot of paperwork anyway let's get this out of the way and let's see how I can actually change these bands I don't want to break it or anything well this actually feels super light so I guess I can do the same with the new one This is harder than it looks. Okay, I think we're getting it. Interesting. And then these are going to be... Okay, so it says that these will fit the 5, 6 and 7. Okay. So that's that. How do I turn this on? I'm just no, it's not power on. Do I have to charge it? I'll try that real quick. And then let's look at the screen protector which is going to be this one okay so just pull this out okay so i guess they do different brands different devices and do we have two? yeah, I think we have two yeah. oh, do I have to watch a video? okay this doesn't look like fun I may actually not install this now but just to show you what this looks like Okay, 
so there's that. And then let's have a look at the options for this. So I got kind of a blue one, dark blue navy. It's definitely different than this one. I think a little bit darker and a different kind of blue. And then this is one of their sports ones. So a little bit different, I guess you can get more ventilation here or sweating can happen or if you're swimming. So yeah, I think that's right. That's the reason. And this is a white one, which I thought would look pretty cool. Yeah, so let's do the white one, for example. Interesting, so this feels Did I do it upside down? I'll try it on my hand. Oh yeah, I think I did. But these are actually way easier to remove. So let's do it this way. I think the quality is different, definitely. This is more flexible, the black one, while the white one is more rigid, but that's okay. So there's that one. And then let's try the, let's try the sports one on the new Seven model. I think this goes yeah this way. Okay. Sorry, I'm not looking at the screen. Hoping this is in focus and in frame. Yeah, I think I like this one. I like the white here. They had actually different colors, but this one it's gonna show on the back, and I guess this in these little holes you would see what color you're wearing. And then I'm gonna set it to charge for just a bit and see if it comes on. I'm gonna use this charger. So this will magnetically attach to the band like so. Let's see if we can get it for the camera. It goes there. I'm gonna plug it in real quick. It did vibrate. It's coming on now. Looks like it's upside down. Okay. Oh, so it does have a bit of a charge. So how do I get it to turn on? Oh, 
I am actually gonna Google that. Should we have a look at the instructions? Let's see what it says here. User manual. So. How to install to use just right. Do have the app already, so let's try that. My phone was charging, so I'm turning it on now, and then we can try to scan it. That's kind of odd that you can't turn it on without pairing it first. And that's definitely interesting. So let's see what's going to happen. Okay, so I'm going to the app now. Okay, device, so this is in my native language. So we can add a new device. Okay, so it's searching for it. Okay, so it did find it. Show me smart band seven. Blah blah. Okay, so it's gonna say it's saying that if you connect the seven, it's gonna disconnect the six or the currently the one that's currently connected. So, okay, I'm okay with that. Okay. Yes, accept. And then let's see what's going to happen. Okay, so I guess. Okay. Okay, so this is about notifications. Okay, it's gonna show. I'm gonna say allow for now. Actually, I'm gonna skip this one. Okay, and then it did, it did find an update, so let's do that. Okay, so this is gonna be fixing some bugs. Oh, I have to click download. Okay, so it's downloading now onto the band. Wait, 10 minutes, that's a long time for a small update. Okay, five minutes. This one, when it's doing its thing. Okay, 
Okay, so this feels different actually than the original one. This one is also more flexible. I like the color. It does look a little bit purple-ish on camera for some reason. Maybe the white balance. It's actually a cooler blue in real life. And the uh, clasp, I guess this is called. This is metal compared to this one, which is plastic. And you can hear it when it touches. So this is metal and it feels cold. And as far as connecting this one, this is gonna go right here. And press this. And it comes right off. So let's separate this. And it goes on like so. It's going to click when it's connected. so and it looks really cool let's do the other one Click. and what's really cool about this is that it's got the two loops on this so when it's closed it's gonna really hold it in place with the other one even when you have it going through the loop it can slide up and down and then this can get uh, can get stuck or something or you can hit it accidentally but that's okay so I like this look with the blue. So let's see how we're doing with this one. Oh wow, it's still going through. Okay, so it disconnected now when it's doing the update. Set the brightness a little bit higher. So this is the max. Welcome. Okay, fix some bugs. Okay, so this is the default screen. Okay, so I guess it's not on maximum brightness. this does it have a oh that's really cool so it's definitely much bigger than the older one okay interesting Trying to get to the settings somehow. Okay. Oh wow, that's really bright. So let's go all the way to the max. I'm not sure if it shows on camera, but it definitely is much brighter than the old one so
I'm trying to find okay so it should come come on when you do this motion with your hand like when you're looking at your watch it should register that no so that's that and there was the last one which we haven't looked at the screen protector for the Huawei watch let's have a look at that So I'm going to do this later to add the screen protector and I'm going to do the Huawei, the Xiaomi band as well. So hopefully I'll be able to keep this one without any scratches. So one tiny scratch and then you end up buying all this stuff. Let's see it one more time. Oops. And there she is. Alright. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.